We've got another brand new Well Your World product. This one's our veggie broth mix. You're gonna love it. It's gonna save you time and money. I'll show you my favorite ways to use it and we'll make a soup. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. And Reeves. You know we are all about saving you time and energy at Well Your World. That's what's gonna make you stick to your healthy diet so that it's not so hard and you don't have to work at it every single day. Well today we are launching another brand new product. It's our veggie broth mix. I know you've been waiting for it for months, actually years, I'll be honest. Well it is here now for sale. You can buy it in our store. This little bottle here holds over 22 quarts worth of veggie stock. You just have to add water, nothing else. Check it out, it's gorgeous. All you do is mix it with water and boom, you've got veggie broth. No more of this three or four dollars for a quart of veggie stock. Now you can just grab a teaspoon of this with a cup of water and boom, you've got veggie stock at better than half the price. We're gonna use this baby to make a really tasty no chicken noodle soup that you are gonna love. It's one of my favorite recipes that we make all the time. It's on our rotation, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna also show you other ways we love to use this broth, such as making a lovely sipping broth. We'll get there. Come on in, Reebs. Let's get our broth on. What do you think, Reebs? I think the first thing we should do is show the people how this broth powder works. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, it's really as simple as adding a teaspoon of mix to a cup of water, okay? It can be hot water, it can be room temperature water, you can whisk it in a bowl, you can blend it in the blender, it doesn't matter. Let me show you just how easy it is to make a quart of veggie stock. That's gonna be four cups, so four teaspoons. There's three plus one makes four teaspoons. I've just got a room temperature quart of water here. We can close it up and just shake it Whoa. and boom, you've got veggie stock. Because we're gonna make this into a soup, I'm not worried about everything getting like blended up and reconstituted perfectly because it's gonna go in my soup, right? But if you wanted to get the most flavor out of the powder possible, I suppose you could use hot water, first of all, and you could blend it or anything in between. Maybe you blend it, but you use room temp water. Maybe you use hot water, but you whisk it in a bowl. Prep this any way you want to. It's gonna be an awesome product for you. We just did room temp and I'll just throw this in the soup that I make and it'll continue cooking and everything in our soup. That came to life instantly. I want that on the replay cam. <laughs> Well, let me show you how easy it is to make a tasty hot sipping broth. I'll just throw a cup of water in the blender. If you're making a sipping broth, you might want to make the flavor more potent. Like if you were just sipping on a carton of veggie broth, you're going to find the flavor is not very strong. If you want to make it stronger, there's one teaspoon. I could add a second if I want to. You're going to love the flavor, just one teaspoon per cup of water. So let me just show you that. But it's up to you if you want to make it stronger. So now I've blended it with boiling water. That's gonna extract the maximum amount of flavor. Now, one thing to remember, we only sell whole food products. So this is not going to dissolve into nothing. There's still going to be a little bit of fiber that might settle at the bottom of your cup if you were doing this as a sipping broth. For cooking, that does not matter. There's already fiber in all your food anyway. You would never go to the trouble of straining out a little bit of fiber. But for drinking, maybe you want to. I could just show you how I do it. You want me to, Reeves? You can show them, but I'll tell you what, I'm real lazy and I don't do it. I I don't either. You just, the last sip out of your cup, just don't drink it. There's a little bit of sediment at the bottom and you're done. But if you really want to get picky, you can filter through like a nut milk bag. This is like a little tiny little cheesecloth bag, or you could use like those little tea filter bags that are like this, but even smaller. And I can just literally throw this in my cup, pour it right in. A lot of people use our date powder to sweeten their teas and their coffee alternatives, and they don't mind the yeah. little bit. So you're already used to having a little bit of fiber because the date powder is also a whole food product that does not completely dissolve. Be careful, if you used hot water, you don't wanna burn yourself, but you're essentially gonna squeeze out the rest of the liquid from your little bag here. So many people are asking for alternatives when they're trying to switch from coffee in the morning, and this would be such a nice way to start your day. Oh, a, a cup of broth? Yeah. I love this idea. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. You are going to absolutely love it. It has such a chicken brothy flavor for being all veggies. And of course, like all of our products, this is totally SOS free. No added salt, oil, sugar. There's nothing else like MSG or other crazy fake things like that. This is real food, folks. But for those of you who want a little bit of salt in your broth, now you can just add your own. So if it was a sipping broth or a cooking broth, you can add just a little pinch of salt to your liking. Now you know exactly how much salt is really in things if you're a salt person. I'll show you another way that I like to prep it and it's even easier than what we've done so far. Let's make that no chicken noodle soup. 
and you'll see. I've got some carrots, celery, onion, that goes into any good soup. We're gonna start by throwing it right into the pot. I didn't even preheat the pot, who cares? We're gonna do a little saute, and it's gonna be nice, quick, easy, no frills. And yes, if you wanted to save time, you could also use the frozen bag of mirepoix mix, which is carrots, celery, onion. Throw that into the pot to make an even faster, no chop version. Here go a couple ribs of celery. I just kinda cut them lengthwise to the size you want, and then we can just chop, chop, chop right through them. Celery going in. Let's chop up a few carrots. Again, I like to just chop these in half, and then we can half them again if they're still bigger pieces than what you want in your soup. Same thing, just chop them up to little bite-sized bits. And there we go, so it's like equal parts, carrots, celery, onion, pretty much, whatever, just wing it, no need to measure. And we're gonna be taking that to the stove, but hey, since I'm already at the cutting board, let's chop a few potatoes. I've got some gold potatoes. I just cut them in half, cut them in half again, and then chop them up. So I generally cut my potatoes about like that, which is plenty small. Mm. That's that, the hard work is complete if you wanna call it that. Let's go to the stove and get this baby cooking. Here we go, we're doing some saute. So even if it's not going into a soup, we use this broth for sauteing. I've been using it on the last several cooking shows and we absolutely love it. You don't have to be using it as a brothy soup. You just use it for all of your sauteing and it's gonna add richness and flavor and veggie love to any dish that you make on the stove. I used to use just water a lot with sauteing, but why would I do that? Now I have this beautiful broth that adds tons of flavor. I've been pretty much exclusively sauteing with veggie broth lately, and I just like it so much more. Mm. We're just gonna spend like five to seven minutes letting these veggies all soften here in the saute pan, and every time it dries out, just add a little bit more broth and keep on going. Now with this broth, we could just add more powder to the soup and it could be the thing that flavors the soup all together, but I'm gonna make this soup traditionally like where this was our broth, and we're still gonna add some flavor to the soup. We're throwing in some minced garlic, looks like kind of a lot, but you know me with the garlic. As you start to hear it kind of dry out, just add a little bit of broth, stir it up. We've got some thyme, we're throwing that in. We've got some oregano, no, oh, get, get all that in there. We've got some parsley, a little black pepper, getting that in. A little bit of our Well Your World non-fortified nutritional yeast, buy that along with our broth. And how about some smoky paprika or sweet paprika, whatever you prefer, and a bay leaf. Just the bay leaf, get in there. And wow, that is looking really pretty. It is so easy to make a tasty soup, y'all. I also love our galaxy dust for flavoring a soup without having to add all the individual things. Boom, galaxy dust, yum. Next, we're gonna add about six cups of veggie stock as our soup base. Here's like three cups that I had mixed up. It'll all go in. So another thing I wanted to show you is we need three more cups. I only put three cups of veggie stock in. You don't have to mix the veggie broth separately and then add it to your pot. There's three more cups worth of veggie stock. Measure out three more cups of water and then boom. That's the same as adding three more cups of veggie broth, right? But now we can just mix it in our soup pot and it'll be the very same flavor. I'm so glad you showed that because I would have never thought to do it that way. Really? Yeah, you do not have to pre-mix your veggie stock. You can just use a teaspoon for every cup of liquid that you add to a recipe that calls for broth. There you have it, another hack that saves a ton of time. It's potato time, let's get our gold potatoes in. You can use any kind of potato, of course. If I used a russet potato, I'd probably peel it first. And then I've got about half a box of this red lentil rotini that I just love. So about four or five ounces of pasta. Oh, I got one more ingredient here. The soy chicken curls. This of the is soup. Soy curls. I love soy curls. They are a whole food product, not like textured vegetable protein or whatever. This is actually whole soy that's been dried. So now all of this just needs to kind of simmer for like 15 minutes till the pasta's done, the soy curls are soft, and the potatoes are cooked through. Look at how hearty that looks already. It is such a delicious filling soup. Ooh, that looks so good. It's looking a little thick, so I'm gonna add a little more veggie broth. Simple change. Add as much liquid as you want to get it to the consistency you love. Oh, I am ready to taste. I am hungry. It's lunch o'clock somewhere, you know? If you want to get a little fancy, you could chop some fresh parsley. Throw a little bit of that on. Oh, wow, look at that beauty. Let's have a taste, shall we? Mmm. That is so good. Everything is so nice and tender and soft. All the flavors are just singing in that bowl. The potatoes are perfect. The soy curls are so nice and soft and they're just very chickeny. That is the perfect easy chicken noodle. Reebs, you gotta get a taste of this, baby. Reebs, you're a little stuffed up. You need some chicken noodle soup, don't you? I really you? do. It's hard to have a taste for anything but soup when you're feeling a little under the weather. 
I'm so happy that there's potatoes in this as well as the pasta because it's so starchy and filling and delicious. And your broth, I've had this with other broth before and it's way better with yours still. You did a great job on that product. Oh, thanks, I'm glad you like it. I love all the textures, the pasta, the soy curls, the potatoes. It's not just a boring broth soup, it's so delicious. There you have it folks, the easiest no chicken noodle soup ever and we did it using our brand new veggie broth mix. Go buy a bottle today and try it out. We can't wait to hear from you how much you loved it. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.